There are horrors beyond life's edge that we do not suspect. And once in a while, man's evil prying calls them just within our range. You're listening to Cthulhu and Friends, a real play pulp Cthulhu role playing experience. Starring Nika. That's so exciting. I've never been that close to Jesus. Fred. I am no doctor, but I definitely don't look good. Mike. I still haven't even got paid, which is probably not going to even happen now. Steph. All right, well, never you fear, sugar. I am on the case. And your game master, Veronica. Hey, everybody, welcome back to another game of Cthulhu and Friends. I am your game master, Veronica, and my pronouns are she, they. Hey, everyone, it's Fred, and I play JJ, and my pronouns are he, him. Hey, everyone, Mike Lane here. I am playing Daniel Mason, and our pronouns are he, him. Hey, it's me, Nika. I am playing Lilith, and our pronouns are she, her. And I am Steph. I'm playing Gladys Cooper, and our pronouns are she, her. Oh, well, thank you all so much. This was a wonderful game to get to play with all of you. And um, I I guess because we're not rolling (laughs) luck this time. And Lilith, I don't know if you've killed anybody yet. So definitely no luck roll for you. And um, I guess all of this non-luck is brought to you by these amazing patrons. Hey, it's Hannah, Dan, or Lewitz. Eric Riley, Turkader, Veronica C.R., Washington Ramos, Robert Hayes, Christopher Nickton, Big Texan, Sharon Grafton, Mr. Ed Ward, the sparkly vampire horse that talks, Bill Sigler. Thank you all so much. And thank you for changing your Patreon names. That, that was a blast. Love you guys. Thanks. Thanks. One of my favorite new patrons at least someone that came in in february had their name as the hottest lesbian <laughs> and i was like Ooh. god damn it nice. <laughs> that's a good ass <laughs> name right there but also that is a very brave statement yeah so good on you i want that confidence all right uh does everyone remember what happened in the last episode <laughs> uh we found out gladys was a horse girl mm, yes yeah Yep. <laughs> oh my <Mike's> gosh. <laughs> when okay, so I didn't get to edit this episode until yesterday. And so um I had really because it's been like two weeks, two yeah. full weeks since we played, and I was like, what happened? All I could remember was the last 20 minutes of the episode. I completely forgot (laughs) that there's a whole Gladys uh, sequence that happened. And I was like, oh, right. I did a horse. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, God. So I was so pleased. It's always nice uh, when you get a a horse girl by surprise twice. (laughs) Uh, all right well uh mike was gone he didn't get to roll luck and gladys had a horse conversation yeah put her name in the book of um let's just say in the good book honestly yeah probably well we i we don't have to do it right now but i did have a note that i get to roll luck for this episode because i killed the witch there you go sorry go ahead you roll luck nika um is she it, dead well what i don't remember what happened now i thought is she dead well, i don't know well well if your notes say she is <laughs> well i just yeah. said is that your assumption that she's dead <laughs> yes my assumption is okay. that she is dead Okay, I just now, had... I thought that I told you to go ahead and do it. No, Nika, oh. don't roll luck. Not yet. <laughs> oh, okay. I know what's happening. Damn. Okay. Because <laughs> I was about to say, like, you either have to reveal now that she's dead to allow her to roll, or maybe or, she's yeah. not. I did tell someone to tell me so that we could open up with 
Oh, a sanity roll, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh, no, sanity, I think, right? I thought somebody passed a sanity roll. Oh, I think Nika rolled. I passed mine. Okay. At the okay. end. And then, um, I was going to take a picture of the vampire yes. shenanigans happening. Um, <gasps> oh, yes. Okay. That's what we're coming in on um, is the photo op. We should probably catch up, Mike, just a little since Daniel did <laughs> observe some of this. <laughs> So we went to the witch's hut, right? And we get in and then we find out that the baby cat we have has a demon and we're trying to save the mother who is struggling with Margarita and we want the witch to put the mother in a different body, but she ends up putting mother in in like an inanimate object yeah right? like a, f- a statue, like a Fulu Fulu statue. statue. That's yeah right and wanted us and to take it to the ocean along with the cat rasputin yeah. yes and rasputin was supposed to cast a ritual when we got to the ocean but then i think like i freaked out when she automatically put mother in a statue mm-hmm. and i think i looked at um Lilith and was like, all right, do your thing. Yeah. And I think that's when you mm-hmm. went like, raw yes. vampire, right? Yeah. yeah. And then you saw, you see Lilith as a vampire and well, like yeah, had confirmation. I, I tapped into like some kind of inner power source, you know, maybe from the mother. And then I think I supported you in your endeavor like i used my power to yeah. make you more powerful and then now i see you as what you are yeah and daniel is outside observing this and gladys came up and joined him that's right and i think that um mike you i think that you had rolled well on a listen roll yes so, at the window yeah, you're hearing mm-hmm. everything okay Okay. Okay. Yeah. What's today's date? The twenty first. Seems like it. Yes. And and didn't we like? So was it in <laughs> game or was it in take a knee that there was kind of like an info dump about Rasputin and the witch and who they are, who they represent? I don't recall. Yeah, that that is in. The take a knee. Okay. Okay. So we won't address that. There's fully. a little bit of it in this one, but yeah, the majority of it is in. Okay. In if you want to know, sign up some- for the Patreon. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <it's> like- <laughs> <laughs> um, I will say I learned so much about tetanus oh, uh, because I was like, was the vaccine widely available at this time? <laughs> um, and so. Yes and no. So the vaccine was developed, but it was not A, in its final form, B, widely available. And I also learned that there is a specific type of tetanus that happens when you have repeated face, head, and eye injury. Oh, no way. shit, that's Gladys. <laughs> Gladys. <laughs> so I have like double tetanus. Yeah, okay. you got lockjaw, baby. <laughs> but like, <laughs> yeah, but like the the devil horse, like he totally cured me of that, right? Like both tetanuses. Oh, tetanuses. There was a book. Tetani. What, what about yeah, the I book? I might have written my name in a book and made a deal with the devil. <gasps> she wrote her name horse. in the devil's it's, book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, all good. it's fine. For what? <laughs> totally purpose? chill. What, what Just did you get save me from deal? tetanus and get me fame and glory. <laughs> <laughs> Because she's a horse girl. Also horse girl. <laughs> Did you see that believe. beautiful horse? Oh, it's just I, amazing. I, for some reason, really thought you were going to merge with a horse and become a centaur. I don't know why. I wish you I was, would have. <laughs> <laughs> it was like my brain went le- like far left field. Like. Oh, man. I just 
it's like Brad, when you said horse it reminded me of this 10 year old goof of look at my horse <laughs> horse is amazing <laughs> give it a lick i can sing that whole thing it's disgusting do i, do I say horse weird no uh, no you don't uh, not at all no <laughs> okay like <laughs> no you really don't you don't say it weird <laughs> say it say, say horse. it horse. Horse. No, you don't no. say it's horse. normal I'm just joking okay. It's not like when Mike said, what was the word you said? Prequel. 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 <laughs> A prequel. A prequel. <laughs> it sounds the same to me. <laughs> I bet you you call it a prelude and not a prelude. Prelude? No. A prelude. Oh, God. Prelude. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, somebody sent me a thing where it was this, like, British cooking show or something. She called the microwave, what did she call it? The, the, the microwave? Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, my. <laughs> That cannot oh be true. God. I will right. find it and I will send it to you. Send it to me. It's that is so fucking funny. Microwave. Microwave. <laughs> well, they do. Uh, they do say aluminium. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That's oh, good yeah. though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that is so fair. weird. Yeah, that's really good in the ears. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What about? Oh, okay. So I recently found out that when you ha- okay tinnitus, right? Um, which is like the ring, I think it's the ringy ear thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did you know that it's only actually, it's, it is only properly pronounced tinnitus, like the British mm-hmm. people say it. What? And I was like, <gasps> it's fucking And I'm like, tinnitus. Nah. And there is an alternate, um, pronunciation, I think, you know, that is tinnitus. S- Americans <laughs> pronounce it tinnitus. I guess we're the only ones that have the oh, itis. Of course you know? we are. Well, you, you know what's really interesting about Greetings Adventures uh, Season 1 is that it's actually Lord Titus Harper. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody knew that. It's so weird that anybody knew yeah. the pronunciation. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, well, with that... <laughs> Um, let's go ahead and get started before I farted. Uh, <laughs> you guys are getting the best. Today. You're getting the fucking <laughs> best of me today. <laughs> um, oh, I'm so behind on my sleep. That's why. Okay, this makes sense now. All right. So Gladys and Daniel, you are outside of the window. Gladys is peering up over the windowsill and has already captured two great shots of Lilith taking um, taking this witch into her arms and just biting down on her neck. The blood is flowing down the breasts of this witch, and her shirt is becoming totally saturated with her own blood. I thought you were going to say (laughs) see-through. I was like, damn, V! (laughs) Her nipples are fully (laughs) erect. Gladys, can I get a copy of that picture? (laughs) No, this is from my personal collection. So the witches torso is just completely drenched in her own blood and you watch as Lilith just like continues to like draw in blood even though it doesn't seem like she can actually swallow that fast she's pulling blood out but she's trying to you know I guess unlatch but she doesn't seem to be able to let me know what you do and JJ, you can also hop in. Anyone can hop in, but Gladys, I'm going to give you first shot. Ah. Uh-huh. So after, of course, snapping the picture, I'm going to look wide-eyed over at Daniel, um, pull the rosary off my neck, and like toss it at him, and be like, "Here, I d- do something. There's a murder." Uh, um. All right. Now, V, can I roll a cult or maybe um, history or something to think back? Because we were talking about Daniel had knowledge of vampires from Massachusetts mm. and how they were different or something. 
Okay. Yeah, go for it. All right. Oh, that's so close. I have 38 out of 30. I'll use eight points of luck. Nice. You don't just want to try and push the roll? <laughs> it's a 30. I'm not. It's not like you'll get tetanus if you goes. push a roll, so I'm sure it's I've fine. got like 70 <laughs> luck. That's, that's you should good. use that, yeah. Yeah, you yeah. should definitely use your luck. <laughs> If if you don't use your luck, what are these patrons doing? Oh, true. Right. Okay, oh, right. so yeah. 30, 30 out of 30. Occult. Okay, so what you can kind of glean from this very quick um, encounter between these two women is that the victim doesn't look like she's a victim she's not struggling she's not trying to get away and in fact you can watch as her arms sort of slide up Lilith's back and pull her in even closer and you know that vampires have superhuman strength uh, so if Lilith didn't want this to happen she should be able to break away with no problem because After all, this is just an ordinary human. You don't know of any witches that would be able to physically overcome a vampire. I think something else is going on here, Gladys. Uh, I mean, there's been all those attacks and all those bites, and I I don't know. I mean, that does kind of look... Hasn't Lilith been with us? I mean, there's so many bodies piled up at the morgue. There were attacks before I joined up with you. I don't... I don't know. Well, you keep snapping pictures, oh, and yeah. I'll go see what I can do. Okay, you keep that rosary, though. It's For your protection, of course. All right, I'm going to run up behind the witch and put the rosary around her neck and pull it taut. So Lilith is in the way. How are you kind of maneuvering around this? Well, he's currently outside, right? He ran in. Oh, okay. So actually, um, I'm going to have Daniel run in the house. And um, Mike, I know that you're going to try and push this um, rosary around her neck, but I'm going to give um, Lilith and JJ an opportunity to react. Sounds good. I feel like my initial reaction is just if the door busts open to be like startled and just be like, <sighs> and <laughs> but like, <laughs> like hold on to um, the witch almost like, you know, like a predator does whenever it's got like its kill and they're like, <laughs> it's like in its mouth. Or, yeah, the witch is in Lilith's mouth and she's holding on to it and, like, hissing and (laughs) blood is just... It's horrific. So, as you pull your face up and you are kind of caught unawares, uh, you see that this is Daniel who has run in through the door. But then, all of a sudden, you feel this um, hand behind your head as the witch pushes your face back down into her neck. That's weird. I don't like this anymore. Would you like to try and escape? (laughs) Yeah! Now I feel like this is a you're trapped with me situation. (laughs) (laughs) Roll fighting brawl. What did you make me do, Veronica? Wait, is this going to be like the mosquitoes? Like if you like pull your skin and then they get stuck and they just explode? What? What? (laughs) What? Excuse me, Mike? What are you guys doing in the north? (laughs) I don't do that. Um, (laughs) I got a... I rolled a 65 and my fighting brawl is a 60, so I would like to use luck points. Okay. To make that a success. Okay. Um, Tell me how you get away from this witch. I feel like as she is pushing Lilith's head forward, she Lilith rolls her head to the side and like 
manages to like escape but just barely but like cuts maybe just like rotate almost can opens her throat a little bit okay trying to like and then like it's it almost looks smooth if i would have rolled an extreme success it would have just been like this like like smooth like that's what that okay. you know <laughs> jj as lilith does this um actually pretty smooth move you see that the witch um has this really large gash in her in her neck and blood just sprays all over the the hut in this kind of fan shape and it just does not stop it continues to spray out and it isn't pulsing like her heart is sending it out it is washing over everything in the hut you are getting covered in blood daniel the same thing happens to you what do what is gross the witch's current like actions like is she just standing there like what are we seeing right now when nika escapes her she just falls limp to the ground Oh, so the body falls to the ground, but it's yes. just like arterially spraying. Yeah. What about Rasputin? Where is Rasputin right now? Roll spot hidden. Oof. And you will need oh. a hard success. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> um, you could use luck. Uh, you know what? I might, but it's going to be a lot. I, I rolled a 39. My spot hidden is 30. A heart is 15, which means I will need to use 24, which I have 69 of. I will do oh, that. Yeah. I'll go down to 45. And uh, I am. I need to spot Rasputin and see what he is up to. You got it. So you managed to see little bloody cat paws as they are going underneath the table. And you see that he is crouched on the seat of just a kitchen chair and looks to be trying to hide away from the blood splatter. So he's effectively made himself a little shelter underneath the table and is sort of crouched down in that um, kind of classic uh, cat behavior. And other than what the witch has told us, we haven't had much other interaction with the cat, right? Like the cat hasn't like spoken to us or anything along those lines. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Nothing weird has happened. It just looks like a very old cat. Okay. I, I, I don't think I do anything. I'm just like kind of taken aback and stunned right now. Okay. Roll sanity. Oh, shit. Do we want to go over or under? <laughs> no, no. You never no. want to go it's over never except for over. luck. <laughs> uh, well, I failed that one. Uh, I think I'm currently I'm currently at a 57 and I rolled a 73. Okay. So JJ, you feel as this blood kind of rushes from your head down your forehead and just completely drenches your eyebrows and you see you know your whole entire world go red as blood fills your eyes and you feel this really intense pain as though something is going into your tear ducts and you start trying to scratch out your eyes as you're feeling this blood just sort of leach into your body. And then you run out of the house. Choose a direction. North, south, east, or west. North. Okay. So everyone sees as JJ starts kind of clawing his eyes out. And he's just kind of mumbling to himself in that he has to get out of here. I gotta get out of here. And he just opens the door. It doesn't seem like he's in a hurry to get out. So you might assume that he's just getting outside of the blood. But JJ, as the door opens and you walk out, you start just running north. And as you get out of this, you know, very horrible, bloody situation, 
um, you can kind of wipe your eyes and you see that um, there was nothing in your eyes and uh, this it, it's all going to be okay. Uh, but you just keep on running north until you hit the road. And you see two lights in the distance, followed by two more lights as two vehicles head your way. In your fit of insanity, you just wave your hands, hoping that they're going to see you and get you out of here. And so you start raising your hands, flailing them in the air, and you see a big spotlight as it shines on you, and the car screeches to a halt. Let me know what you do. I will probably start walking towards the car, maybe along the driver's side. Oh, oh thank God he stopped. Uh, uh, I, I, I need you to take me back to town. Uh, there was a, an accident. Uh, do, do I have blood on me at this point? Oh, yeah. You uh, are covered in blood. As uh, the chat says, Tarantino style, <laughs> covered in blood. I'm just like pulling out like clumps of like thickened oh. blood out of my hair and and like there's just like just parts of my eyes and face that isn't covered in blood because I clawed away at my face but then like everything else is still just like covered uh, you think you could give me a ride back to town uh, there was an accident oh yeah um, we'll give you a ride back to town uh, but first, uh, l let me get out and help you, okay? Uh, everything yeah. is going to be okay. Yeah, thank you. You still can't see because the light is just sort of right in your eye. And then someone steps in front of the light and you just see this silhouette of someone coming toward you. And then they reach toward their waist and they pull out a gun. All right, sir. I want you to get on the ground. Put your hands spread out, palms to the pavement. And you hear as the hammer clicks back. Uh, what? I, don't, I don't understand. Uh, I just told you. Uh, get down on the ground. Do you know who I am? The second door opens. Uh, look, look. I, my name's JJ. You probably know me. I, I'm the director of Los Lobos Oscuros. It's a movie. You know, Margarita Chavez. Roll dodge. He's gonna get so I rolled an 11, and my dex is 50, half which is 25, placing me at an extreme or a hard success of 12 or below. Okay. So you watch as the cop who got out of the other car tries to, like, just rush you and grab you, but you're able to just kind of bounce out of the way. As you do that, you see or hear something kind of coming quickly out of the out of the brush and you can't quite see everything that's happening. The light is still blinding you. Um, there's an officer that's just recently uh, fallen on the ground in front of you. And because you have evaded uh, this police officer, Gladys, you watch as the trigger happy car driver pulls the trigger and a bullet flies into JJ's chest. JJ, you feel a burning pain on your right arm and you go a little slack. I said, get down. Uh, you, you don't want me to do this. Get down on the ground. Well, I, I think you already have. I, I think, did you just shoot me? And I just, I get down on one knee. And I'm just kind of like still blinded by the light. And I'm just like, what what the, what the hell is going on right now? I just need some help. The cop turns around and says, bring in the ambulance, bring it in. And you hear as this car kind of 
comes up beside you and two paramedics rush out. Gladys, do you want to try and get into the scene at all? Or are you just observing? I want to ride full speed towards JJ and um, shout out for him. And I don't know if this is going to go over well, but I want to shout out for him and like hold out my arm like I'm going to pull him up in the saddle with me. So as you do that and you try to reach down toward JJ, you call his name, he looks up at you, and then these police officers are there in the mix as the paramedics are rushing in. Roll dodge. Okay, that's, uh, ooh, 21 out of 42, so it's a hard success. Okay. You hear as a bullet just whizzes past your head. I mean, you can feel your hair as it flutters past. And one of the police officers says, Ma'am, I want you to get off of this horse right now. Get off of the horse. And now there are two officers with their guns trained on you. Let me know what you do. Does JJ reach up for my arm at all? He can't. He was just shot. Oh, damn it. I want to call out, like, briefly, um, Father, what do I do? There is no response. Okay. If there's no response, I want to gallop the opposite direction that the cars are pointing to see if I can lead them away, but they wouldn't be able to turn around very quickly to follow me. Okay. Roll ride. Oh. That's a 51 out of 5. Okay. And I don't have um, enough luck. <laughs> you, do, you do go as fast as you possibly can. Um, and not only do you go fast for, you know, just a human rider, right? You seem to be going so fast that as you look down, you can see that father's hooves are scooping out the asphalt as he's like just trotting or running uh, at full speed in the opposite direction. Roll dodge with disadvantage. Well, yeah. okay, that's a uh, hundred then. Okay, that is uh, an extreme failure. Yeah. Sure so, <laughs> with your combination of a poor ride and your <laughs> failed, your failed dodge here, you hear just a split second before you feel this pop. And you feel this, like, deep sensation in the lower part of your back. And then you kind of go a little limp. And you don't feel anything else. Like, but then you can't feel your legs. And your hands start shaking as you realize that you have been shot in your spine and you can't feel your legs, you can't feel anything below your waist. At this point, you fall forward, and the rusty nails that were protruding from the saddle pierce through your torso, and you feel them as they pierce into your lungs and your heart, and you hear that familiar voice now of Father, the one whom you loved and gave your life to, as he said, <laughs> and you feel yourself being pulled deep into the body of this horse, your camera falls to the ground and you watch with one eye as father's hoof steps on the camera and your big story and your life come to an end. <laughs> Thank you.
JJ. Was that a horse? <laughs> was, that, was that a horse with you guys? Where did the horse go? Um, a paramedic comes up to you really quickly and they start applying pressure to your gun wound. And you now know that it's just sort of like hit you um, like kind of in the armpit and they just start packing in some gauze and you just, you've lost so much blood and all you're seeing is blood. What? When did I get shot? Who shot me? I'm, I'm so confused at what's happening. You sort of just blink out of of time and you feel really lightheaded. It's almost like you went to sleep in in this dream, in this sense of not quite being there, but also being there. You hear as the cop says, yeah, I think this is the one. He was, uh, he was his boss. This is that motherfucker that killed Rudy North. He's going away for a very, very long time. Daniel, let me know what you do. All right, so it just got sprayed with a bunch of blood. Yeah, yeah. Aren't you a germaphobe? Right. <laughs> well, I, it's particularly, I don't like to get my hands dirty, but I mean, I don't think anybody likes being sprayed with blood. Your hands could have been in your pockets. They might be totally fine. No, pockets are dirty. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have like special lined pockets that you can like take it out and like no, I'm wash like the wearing lining. gloves. But now okay. I'm covered in blood, so it's it's not a good thing. I'm going to gasp for air and then stumble my way over to the window, pull the curtains off of the rod, and then just start wiping away all of this blood. Okay, yeah, you do that. And um, your face is kind of like being scratched quite a bit as you realize that these curtains are more like a burlap and um, as you reach around for something else, you kind of come across something that feels really velvety and smooth. And you are able to, like, really have a nice something there that you can get all of this blood off. But the blood does not stop coming out. I mean, it is still raining blood in this in this little hut. Lilith, is that a... Lilith, is that a spell? What, can you turn it off? What? No, I think that's just a scratchy fabric. No, that. The fountain of nasty. I'm sorry, that's just human blood? Can I take some, um, can I take, like, the bottom of her clothing or whatever, like, pant leg or dress and, like, rip it and make a thing to, like, wrap around her neck? <laughs> yeah, you can try anything. And try to stifle yeah. the bleeding. Um, a medicine? Uh, yeah, that sounds great. I have a one. <laughs> I rolled a 90. Oh, good. Um, so not only does that not work, as you're trying to maneuver everything around her, you just keep on flinging her body in different directions. So the fan of blood is just whooshing this way and that. I promise I'm trying my best, Daniel. <laughs> Lilith, that is not helping. I'm so sorry. She came, she attacked Marguerite and mother and it, JJ has God knows gone where and things are just a mess. They are a mess and we need to get mother out of the statue and take Rasputin to the ocean. We have a lot of things to do and find out where JJ went. <sighs> yeah, yes. All right. I'm, I'm just going to take off this shirt and throw it on the ground here that's perfect you know uh, daniel i really like you you don't ask a lot of questions except for can i change my shirt perfect take all the time you need <sighs> okay um so you're you're a, 
a vampire? No. When did that happen? N- nope, nope, nope. I said I like you when you don't answer or ask all the questions. Okay, well... It's happened a long pun, time ago. the cat is out of the bag. Well, <laughs> it, it, okay, it didn't happen so long ago. It happened um, a minute ago. Um, but it, it is just because... Well, I don't think you need to know why. I'm just giving you too much okay, information. Okay, that's all I needed to know. Yeah, it's fine. I'm not involved with the myriad of killings that have been happening around this town. No! What killings? Can I roll psychology? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> and Lilith, you can roll a fast talk to combat okay. that. Ooh. I rolled a 10, and my fast talk is a 78. I rolled a 76 out of 45, so... Yeah, you've got him convinced. You are no killer. You are but a a lovely vegetarian vampire, (laughs) and you probably sparkle in the sunlight for all he knows. The only deaths I know of are the ones in the hospital. Okay. All right. Um, that's good. Uh, where? So what? What is going on with this statue? What? What? What is going on? There, really? I, I mean, how did all of this go on without either Gladys or I knowing? Well, I don't know. Honestly, I feel like probably a lot went on whenever you weren't looking. I don't even know where Gladys is. You're she saying right. all of this as there is almost like this red Art Deco um, <laughs> fan of blood still spraying <laughs> behind you as though there is a stage <laughs> curtain of blood as you're having this conversation in the hut, which is now ankle deep in blood. And the cat still under the table is saying, can I go try to pick the cat up? You While still talking anything. to Daniel and everything. Yes, Pick the cat course. up, put the statue in my bag, wrap it up, kind of collect oh, any weird odds yeah. and ends. So as you guys are talking, um, Lilith is just sort of putting things together. And, and that's kind of what makes the fast talk m- most effective is that she isn't even, you know, having to stop and think about an answer to these questions. It's almost like she's just giving you facts. Why would I lie to you? I'm a nun. I don't... Can you be both at the same time? Well, yeah. Who says that you can't? All right, I never actually considered that. Right? As you walk out the door. (laughs) There's a lot of things that I think people just... You have this set mind mindset of what a vampire is, but have you met a vampire? Um, not personally okay well there you go how do you know how one acts then if you've never met one hmm. um so uh, are we are we gonna like torch this house we can't oh yes we have to destroy it i don't know how do you know how to start a fire um a candle great so helpful can we start the fire we light the house. Yeah, on fire. I would just say, you know, through many an implement, you are able to um, catch the the house on fire. The fire gets bigger than the blood coming out of. <laughs> yeah, it does smell awful. I mean, literally awful. <laughs> um, so, yeah, you guys can start this fire. There is a huge blaze in the distance, JJ, that you kind of see out of the corner of your eye before you sort of slip into this uh, time of nothingness. And um, Daniel, you hear this stream nearby if you want to go and wash yourself you certainly can or you guys can just make your way to the next big thing yep i'll wash off okay tell me exactly how you wash off like do you take your clothes off do you wash off your clothes um do you just do like a quick wash your face get the blood out of your hair 
Um, I just want to know what you look like whenever you get into the, into light, essentially. And same thing for you, Lilith. I'm going to endeavor to wash my hair and face the best I can. Okay. Yeah, you can get it pretty well. I mean, you feel clean. I would try to wash all of me. <laughs> all of me outward garments. <laughs> Why did I say it like that? I would try to wash all of my outward garments that had blood that were visible and then any parts of my body. Um, I assume it would be too much to try to like wash my whole clothes and then walk around in a wet ass dress. Um, so try to make it look like I am visibly not covered in blood if possible. Okay. Yeah. You hear something in the distance. Um, some kind of animal is walking toward you. Ooh. Can, is there a bush? Can we hide in the tree? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do that. Okay. I try to hide in the tree. Daniel, do you know what it is? Can you hear anything? Can you see anything? What? There's something coming. Can I listen for it? Yeah, you can listen. And your eyes have kind of become adjusted to, you know, this this kind of weird light. Now that the house is on fire, there's also a bit of moonlight. And you can see that there's someone leading a horse around. Um, it's, I think, a person we should probably not be seeing. Oh, okay. Should we hide or should we just run away? Do you have a car? Well, not with me. We took the very tall lady's car. Oh, well, that was a long time ago. Uh, yeah, we should we go in the opposite direction? Which way is the ocean? JJ is gone. As Lilith says, which way is the ocean? Fred, your character's ears sort of perk up. You are leading a horse, a horse that you've recently acquired. And you are just walking in the general direction of this burning house. And this horse has said to you that you needed to Find some friends and take them to the beach. Let me know what you say or do. Um, excuse me. Uh, I don't quite see where you are, but I can hear you. Are you? Where are you? I'll handle this. Um, yes. Um, hello, good sir. Um, sorry for the inconvenience. We got ourselves doused with some paint we were trying to wash off. Would you be so kind as to, to point us towards the ocean? Of course, of course. Uh, uh, actually, I think I was headed in that direction as well myself. Um, my name is Thurston. Apologies. Uh, how rude of me. And you are? I'm Lilith, and this is Daniel. You hear Lilith's voice as she speaks down from the tree that she's climbed. <laughs> I forgot I was in it. Oh, uh, do you need some help getting down? <laughs> oh, yes, please. I don't quite remember why I got up here, but I uh, saw something shiny. He uh, helps you down from the tree, and before you, you see... Um, a man who is in a full tux suit, um, very pressed and proper, a white bow tie, a white flower on the, the black lapel of his uh, tux. Um, his hair is um, pushed back uh, with maybe some kind of hair product that makes his hair look extremely s slick. Uh, and he has almost kind of like a... Not off-putting smile, but almost, like, uh, too much for this current situation. I'm getting big vibes of um, Jack Nicholson at the end of The Shining and the picture. 
<laughs> not not that horrific. Oh, but okay. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, f- definitely friendly, but like oh, okay. overly friendly. Um, paint. Did you knock a couple of pails of paint on yourself? Yes. Um, we were trying to paint the inside of that house, and um, Lilith was helping me, and we knocked the paint over on ourselves and then i think we knocked over a candle and the whole place just went up roll fast talk i'm a very messy painter you can't take me anywhere i will just fling it all over the walls and into the fireplace and wouldn't you know paint is flammable 65 out of where is it 50 can i push that roll yeah, you can try it. Go for it, my friend. Can I, like, aid him? No, not in no. a push roll. Okay. You're uh, Chris. No. 52 out of 50. <laughs> Close! And what was it you were trying to do? Oh, yeah, fast talk, fast talk. Yes, we were we were painting the corners um, with the brushes. You know how paint goes. Oh, uh, yeah, of course. Uh, and then the paint caught on fire. Is is that what you're saying? A no, candle? no, no, no. I we covered ourselves in paint accidentally and knocked a candle into the mm. curtains or something. Mm. Daniel, you hear a crack, a really large crack, like a beam breaking in half behind you from the hut, and you watch as orange embers float up into the sky and all of you sort of look as this woman flies out of this fuck. burning hut what the fuck covered is that? in a gown of red embers and she waves her hand over this field that is full of brush and everything catches on fire Lilith roll power with disadvantage no fuck (laughs) I rolled a 64 and I rolled an 84 and my power is 60 so could I can I push the roll? Yeah, you can push the roll or you can use luck. No, I don't want to use 20. So I'm okay. Luck. I got a 35 out of 60. Perfect. Um you hear as this voice sort of tingles and tickles your mind. And at first it's very aggressive as though it's trying to take control of you but you're able to push it back as though you're not one to be trifled with and this voice kind of is impressed with you you feel as though you're being smiled upon okay go run your errands but come back to me I have so much to teach you And the woman falls back into the flames. There's nothing but a pile of embers. Also, there's a really big fire around all of you. Let me know what you do. I throw myself into the creek. Yeah. Can we wade back to a safe place out of the fire through the creek? Sure, you could. What does Thurston do? Would I have the ability to, like, control the fire around me and, like, make it just move out of my way as I walk through with my horse? You can try anything. Would you like me to roll a colt or power? Roll power. Okay. Uh, That is a 39 under 80. Okay. As you both are walking through the water and you're expecting to hear this horse and 
this person kind of waiting behind you, you notice that Thurston is just holding his hand out and the flames are sort of just licking at this area, maybe four or five feet away from him as though he is pushing the flames away from him. But the flames are coming back behind him. So it's almost as though they're moving specifically for him. And he is just walking on the scorched earth. Well, that was interesting. Um, So which way is it to the beach? Oh, I thought you knew. Everyone roll, or actually, yeah, everyone roll um, navigation. Is that a skill? Yeah. <laughs> I have a very low one. I don't have. I got an 81 and my navigate is a 10. So I got a 008 and that is below my 10. Nice. Oh my God. <laughs> I got 36 Holy out of 10. Shit. Thurston coming out with it. Um, Thurston, you know that if you follow this stream, it will go to a larger river and you can just follow this river right to the ocean. I uh, kind of like kneel down um, next to this river or creek um, and I'll kind of like submerge my hand into it and then I'll kind of like taste the water off of my fingertips and I say, okay, well, um, if we go down Uh, Follow this creek to the river. I think we'll be able to uh, follow it all the way to the ocean. Um, Milady, would you like to ride upon the horse? Uh, Oh. I've never rode, ridden upon such a steed before. Um, Yes. Well, Let me ride upon your gracious beast. It's going to be quite a ways, and you look worse for wear. Uh, It looks like you've been through quite a lot i am Um, yes so much (laughs) yes painting accidental fires (laughs) a phantom woman flying through the air and beckoning you to come back it's quite a day for you well i guess we have a lot to talk about uh, as we follow the river and through the woods to the ocean we go Lilith, as you mount the horse, there is an ancient familiarity between you, and you know that this horse has given false names for maybe hundreds, if not thousands of years, but you could not be more confident that this is your love, and you feel as though you are sitting, you know, just like in the lap of your great love, Lucifer. And that's where we're going to call it. Oh, oh shite. Oh, Hell yeah. Oh, Damn, boy. this episode went crazy. It was good. Wow. Everyone, why? Why did y'all die? Well, <laughs> I'll tell you fucking why. <laughs> Because of tetanus. Because I was chasing a story and apparently greedy. <laughs> that didn't. Didn't this happen the last time you chased a story? Well, you gotta stop chasing those stories. You know. <laughs> <laughs> but the good news is I've already rolled up my next character, so. Yay. Amazing. <laughs> time was spent. <laughs> I, I love. Okay, I have to share with you guys that Steph and I spent a good part of like the last two weeks really thinking about how this character was going to work with um with father the horse and like there was going to be this whole thing yeah i was like so excited to embrace the whole like satan horse thing and um yeah Yeah. well now i'm the horse girl Listen, cops will ruin your <laughs> yeah. dreams. Let me just say. Well, I mean, <laughs> um, but I did roll up an exorcist, which I feel like they might have use for when they get to the ocean. Yes. So 
Oh, perfect. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, thank you so much to all of you who kind of said hell no to House of the Dragons and hell yes to the House of Lucifer Cthulhu. and Lilith. My God. Thirsty Thurston. Oh, thirsty Thurston. <laughs> I love that Thurston and the Thirst Trap Daniel are <laughs> now like together. Such dapper so boys. Yeah. <laughs> My God, um, that's exciting! So we're gonna meet the Exorcist next episode. We will not be here next week as Fred turns another birthday Whoa. over in the books, and my daughter wow. does too. Aww. Oh my God! How do you know they're not the same person? Have you seen them in the room together? I actually have not. Oh, yeah, makes mm-hmm. you think. Mm. And they both have black hair. It's so true. Oh. You guys have the same eyebrows, mm. but like boy version, girl version. And they both think they're better than me. Wow. Oh, <laughs> oh, no, stop. They both have the audacity. <laughs> uh, I will mention one thing, though, that uh, this year, uh, upon my birthday, I will be turning into the most holiest of ages, the age of 42. Oh, oh. nice. I thought you were going to say 33 because that's your Jesus year. That's when Jesus died. Oh. So that is your most holy. It's oh, your year to do whatever because you're going to be resurrected, mm-hmm. baby. Neither am I, but it just used it as an excuse <laughs> to get away with whatever. Not that I needed it, but. It makes me happy to think that you think I am I could be 33, so. You yeah. look timeless. Yeah, yeah so. you are timeless. You really do. Stop. That's true. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Okay, you look so good. <laughs> Mike made a character that looks like you, and everyone was taking their clothes off and jerking off together. So. I must have missed that episode, too. Uh, okay, I don't know. JJ and Rudy were yeah. absolutely fucking lutely jerking off in the car. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> the moment Daniel came on the scene. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, uh, if you want to see a birthday pic of our beautiful boyfriend, you can follow us on twitter.com at CAF podcast. Where can everybody else find you guys? You can follow me at I think I'm Fred. I'm at one gaming lane. I'm at Nika underscore Howard. I'm at Starlet Firefly. And I'm at Typical Veronica. If you want to hear what we have to say after the episode, head on over to our Patreon and you'll get uh, exclusive access to our Take a Knee episodes. We'll see you next time. Bye. 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 This episode was edited by Steph Kingston. You can find her on Twitter at Steph O. Kingston. This episode was produced by me, Veronica. The intro was composed by Rob Anderson. You can find him on Twitter at Hey, It's Birdie. The voiceover in the introduction was provided by Rick Lee. You can find him on Twitter at 